never go. Did a lot of shit for the flip, came a long way for the play. Ayy, they say you get what you get. Well, I got a lot coming my way. Ayy, did a lot of shit for the flip. What's going on? I'm the Progress Nerd. Welcome back to Forza Horizon 3, where today we are going to be doing another rally build. As I said in last week's video, uh, where we did this same rally build, the Ford Focus RS 2003, which was the Colin McRae one, we are for today going to do yet another Colin McRae uh, rally build. But this one is going to be what I think is the 2004 version, I believe. Uh, let me see. Or the 22B. Uh, car. Oh, car. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that the 22B one looks really cool from Colin McRae but uh, that's going to be tough hmm um, actually that might be not a bad idea either um, so yeah how are you all doing today I'm doing fine uh, Ford Let's see if we have this version of that car in Horizon. Yeah, we do actually. Shara Cosworth RS500 Rally. Nice. So we're going to be doing the Cosy McRae version. I mean, it's a more um, unknown. Um, car from him but he did use it and it's a pretty cool car so let's see if we can get the same paint job yes we can let's see um, I mean the first one actually is the correct one for the first time so yeah or at least as far as I can see it's the correct one so how are you all doing today I'm doing fine <coughs> oh, sorry for that also because I'm using um, the Elgato game capture software I cannot mute my mic when I have to cough or something like that um, which kind of sucks but hey oh, man. Forza is slow again so yes, um, I hope that you enjoyed uh, last week's videos, the different video each day, at least I hope that I've been able to <laughs> do that. Um, so yes, let's see, can we get the Rally 4 in here, straightforward turbo rally, yep, just to keep it and I believe it was all-wheel drive, if it wasn't, then, well, no, it is. <laughs> the original one, I, be, I mean. Um, I believe he, uh, yeah, that uh, spoiler was still on it. Uh, rally tires. Maximum tire size. The rims, I believe he kept them the same, but now I have to pull up the image again. Give me a second. Okay. Cosworth. Um. Yeah. He. Well, actually, they are slightly different. Those rims. Um. But I think that we could stick with the same rims. Hmm. I'm going to see if we have anything similar to the original. But it doesn't look like it. So we're going to keep the original rims. 
the tire size is the same uh, upgrade the whole drivetrain as usual and as uh, normal with the rally 4 we're going to get 433 or turbo 4 rally we're going to get 433 horsepower and well let's hope that this one drives nearly as good as the focus from Mr. McRae <coughs> a cock that and then engine restrictor plates there we go so all in all about 120k uh, build in here which yeah it's a lot for a car but not really for a rally car it's normal pricing so yeah and now we're able to tune it up which I usually don't do a lot of tuning on these apart from take away all the camber because usually rally cars aren't cambered and I normally put the diff up to 70-30 split mainly because that to me feels just uh, balanced enough so yes um, Listen to that beautiful rally engine. Who barely missed it for uh, that uh, MX-5 there. Okay, so I mean from this little bit of a drive, it is already a pretty decent car to drive. Okay, overtaking on the left. <laughs> oh man. So yeah. I mean it's able to power slide ever so slightly. Which is good for a rally car as I've said in last week's Forza Horizon video. So that's a good thing. And I mean it's pretty drivable so oh my gosh I nearly hit that also let me take off the damage because it doesn't really look that nice for me <laughs> I prefer my cars clean but yeah we almost hit that roof let's just uh, rewind a bit to see how close we were to the roof actually because that was a pretty dang high jump I mean, that's not really far away. Oh man, that was actually pretty close. I mean, less than a meter is what I would call close. So, but uh, yeah, I actually hope that I was able to find seven different games to play for this week, which Besides my regular set of games would be another three or four games Maybe two and the range between two and uh, four Different games to be added to my schedule, which I hope that I've been able to Ooh, that was a nice power slide You absolute knobhead But yeah, I mean, it drives pretty nice off-road, as long as there isn't a cock and a BMW ahead of me. Hmm. But yeah, I mean, I'm really sorry about last week's video not being up in time. I mean, it's... I wasn't able to do anything about it this time. But... I'll try to uh, keep all my ep or all my videos in time or on time um, as per usual. But I mean, it's actually pretty fast on road. 
this car so yeah and I hope that uh, last week every video uh, has been on time oh cock so yes hmm also um, today I watched my first uh, what's it called um, Star Trek film movie let's just quickly turn around and head up this dirt path because there's no use in driving a rally car on road because it's a rally car it should be driving along paths like this now it shouldn't mount a <laughs> side of a hill or mountain like that but that was just my poor driving kicking in so yeah I mean it's driving pretty well nice I mean it's a pretty cool car this Sierra Cosworth oh god I shouldn't be that distracted when I'm driving a rally car uh, wait no I don't remember where I was headed oh yeah there no oh, man keep your mind on the road and not somewhere else am I right so yeah, I'm glad that for now the design uh, servers on uh, Forza are back online because I mean yeah would work as a rally car without uh, a paint job but I prefer to have it be the actual Calmacray paint job car if you get me you know I mean <laughs> if we're going to be making a uh, Forza variant of a legendary rally car it should be in the same style as or it should be using the similar, similar or prefer, preferably the same uh, paint job as the original head. And this one does, luckily. So, but yes. Um, what did I want to talk about? <laughs> Not a lot of things actually, I mean, I should really think of, uh, think about doing something like a, uh, uh, like making a notepad with things to talk about in videos. But now we're doing a bit of an on-road rally stage, sort of impro improvised. But yeah, I mean, it's handling really good, this car. And I mean, I know that this video is not supposed to be as much of a review of it as a rally car, because it's... I mean, it's been proven as a rally car, so... There's no point in me proving that it's a rally car again. You know, but... Yeah, also I hope that I was able to uh, imp uh, <clears throat> uh, to get some uh, dirt games in the schedule last week. Cock. And I mean, if it turns out to be a good week for content and um, videos and stuff like... Uh, your interaction and stuff like that I mean I'll continue using the same schedule until I see maybe one or two series dropping off and then I might replace those with something that more people will like that watch my channel because I mean I try to cater my channel to 
what most people want to see and also to what games that I would like to play that people want to see such as I mean Forza is a game that quite a few people actually want to see and I enjoy playing it so I will play it but the same goes for No Man's Sky I mean I don't really get why people give it so much hate when it came out I mean sure it's a hefty price for a game that seems to be incomplete and I mean to be honest I mean it's like paying 70 or 60 bucks for a uh, early access game but think about it if we are going to be thinking about or talking about No Man's Sky as an early access game because it doesn't have all the content that we were um, <coughs> promised straight from the get-go then we should also look at GTA 5 and say well we didn't get what we were promised at the start of that game either so why didn't people get mad about that you know but again topic for a whole different video and you'll probably already have heard me speak about this in the No Man's Sky video but hey I also really really hope that I've been able to do some live streaming in the past week but that's again it's something that I won't know as of now because it's still uh, the 12th or the 3rd of December actually that I'm recording this so yeah it seems a bit weird to be talking about future plans for this week uh, in a video that's going to be or to talk about things from this week uh, that uh, I'm going to do in the coming week I don't know how to explain it basically it's weird to talk about the future you doing something that you might not be able to do because of reasons but yeah I mean that's the thing about being or doing YouTube at least the way I do it is that I have to basically improvise because I'm not able to record each day um, so I have to record a couple of days in the week which usually are Monday or Saturday Sunday and Monday if I'm lucky I get one or two more days of recording in during the week so that I can basically take a bit of load away from those three days but I have to record seven videos in three days which is a lot more than most youtubers do or at least most full-time youtubers do I know that there are youtubers that also record about the same or maybe even more videos because they upload uh, also also up one video a day but they also have like one two maybe three uh, days that they can record so yeah that's something you know to think about that I mean I'd be able to do two videos per day at least if I would be a professional youtuber you know if I would be able to make YouTube my career or my job which I mean it's a high end goal to set or but it's more of like my dream to achieve that even though I'm not in it to with the end result being that because I know that the chances of me uh, actually being able to make YouTube my job are very slim but don't get me wrong every chance that I have to make that work I'm going to take and if it doesn't end up I know that I tried at least I gave it my best and 
I mean, there's not a lot more that you can do than give it your best shot. So, I mean, that's the way you should think about everything in life, really. Just give it your best, and if it doesn't work out, then you know that you've tried your hardest. You know, if you've got a goal, go for it. Don't be afraid, you know. And I mean, you, have a bucket list you know, to you always have someone telling you you cannot do any or something. But those people, you should just show them or shut them up and by showing them what you are capable of doing. That you can achieve your goals. So, I mean, a little bit of a uh, motivational speech over, if you want to call it that. So, but yeah, I mean, you know, I'm really enjoying doing YouTube, so, and I hope that I'm able to uh, get the time to do Twitch or at least live streaming as well. Not necessarily on Twitch. I mean, Twitch is good and all, but. There are other services out there for live streaming that I'd like to try out, so yeah. Or maybe I would, uh, I can try, but maybe I'd be able to live stream to Twitch and something else at the same time. Who knows? But yeah, so I think that's going to do it for today. I, oh yeah, I just saw that we we're about 22 minutes in after looking at the OBS. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, I just saw on the OBS uh, that we were recording about for 22 minutes, so I think that's a good wrapping up point. So, but yeah, I mean, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel, share this video around, um, tell me in the comment section down below what you thought of it, and if you have any suggestions for the channel or any questions you want to ask me. I will always try to reply to your comments as fast as possible. But without any further ado, I've been the Procrastinator. This has been uh, Forza Horizon 3 with the Comic Crave 4 Discord. And I hope to see you in the next video.